You know, when I grew up, everyone had one of these. A great big sprawling piece of greenery out the front, the ubiquitous verge lawn. Now look, I got nothing against lawn. In the right place, it is simply one of the greatest, toughest sport and recreation surfaces. But I gotta ask you, when was the last time you ever saw anyone out the front, kicking the footy, rolling out the picnic rug on that verge lawn? When you throw into the mix that the typical verge lawn can use anywhere from 40 to 60,000 litres of water to sustain it over summer, and when you multiply that by just how much verge lawn there is in WA, you can see that this represents a huge amount of water, water that we are now scrambling to find. Now I'm not for a moment suggesting we just turn off the taps and let it all descend into a dry, weedy mess. Of course not. In Perth, we've got an amazing opportunity to put in a truly awesome alternative. One that's gonna slash our water use, save us a fortune on fertilizer and mowing, and can lift the value of the property. I'm talking about a state-of-the-art, water-wise verge. The trick with a verge lawn conversion is to keep it simple and to keep it low. For my new verge, you can see that I've chosen plants that will grow no higher than 50 to 70 centimetres. Now that protects what we call the line of sight, so that means cars can see me and I can see them. And interestingly, I didn't grub out the old lawn, I just killed it in situ, I let it rot down, and that created the perfect no-fuss bed for my new plants. Out the front, I've gone for some seriously tough water-wise plants. I've got the Calberry carpet, the Grevillea ginger gem, beautiful plant. For contrast, we've got the Alaria Little Smoky, and I've even got this Hemiandra Pungens, which has gorgeous lilac flowers for nine months of the year. Now, if I can top that off with a good rough water-wise mulch, I'm seriously in business. Now, it's not just a few intrepid gardeners that are getting in on the party. These days, our leading developers are putting in some truly stunning water-wise verge alternatives that are filled with colour and diversity, and they're all helping to rein in our galloping water use. Check with your local council for their verge conversion guidelines and any restrictions. But if you follow their simple principles, you can soon have a truly extraordinary verge, which will be a stamp of sustainability in your suburb and the newest in a growing trend of amazing 21st century water-wise verge gardens.